Tasty things all tasty. <sighs> yeah, trying to figure out how to do HVAC stuff is real fun. Let me tell you, it, it real feels like being an adult. Don't recommend it. Is it being an adult or is it probably being handier than you thought you may have ever been? Probably one, a little bit of A, a little bit of B. Yeah. I feel like that's, that's probably more in line with it because, I mean, that's like actual handiwork. That's not just like, oh, I put spackle in the holes in my wall. Yeah. Oh, I'm so tired. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. That's all good. There was a jiu-jitsu competition yesterday, and we had about four people competing. I was there coaching from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Damn, dude. Very surprised, actually. I'm very surprised I have a voice at all right now, truthfully. Were you yelling all day? Yes, just screaming. Get the leg, get the leg. No, 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 no. Uh, uh. A little bit, yeah. LP smart. <laughs> a little bit, truthfully. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> more, more specific, but like a little bit. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Are you ready to get started? I suppose. Say that so reluctantly. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Overachievers Gaming Podcast. I am What's one of the hosts, Vash. You know me. And also my other host. Wash. Not Wash. Vash with two Vs. <laughs> the Strami, that is Ashy. And the Krondo, that is a chef. Welcome mm -hmm. to our episode of this podcast, 91, called Tasty Things, where we discuss video games, why we play them, philosophies behind them and what's enjoyable about them you can find us on the internets at og dot podcast our twitter which we don't use is overachievers p as well as our website og podcast.fm where you can get this episode and everything else that we've ever done before welcome everyone before. to this podcast Gents, take it away. Do you feel better now? Did that help? Did no. You, do you feel better now? It did not help. I was just I had a bit and I was just sticking with it. So right. Sometimes right, you really right. gotta stick to the bit. Yeah. Sometimes you really got. Right, listen, I'm trying to commit. Oh, to there's things. a react. There's a react button now. And what? On Twitch. What do you mean? There was like a button I could react, and I, I reacted hype. Like there was a little, there was a little button that said hype or uh, react. Oh and it has, yeah, look at that. It's right next to the heart. No, oh, all right. Well, hype for my monotone intro. So there we go. But where what? does it go? Where does the hype go to? What does that mean? Oh, maybe that's why I get those emails that are like, "Hey, your fans think that you're hyping up your your stream, so keep at it." I'm like, <laughs> "Who the fuck's listening and watching right? me stream? Like, I don't stream anymore. That's like, funny. who cares? I barely have time there's to got, do this podcast." There's probably bots going to your page and just pressing the hype button. Yeah. For sure. I mean, that's a that's a smart way to do it if you want to hype yourself up. No pun intended. All right. Dude, anyway, I hype myself up every night. Hi, everyone. <laughs> we are live on the Twitches, and the, not live on the Tiki Talks. So I actually played video games this week. That wasn't. I'm excited to hear because I did not play. Can you video believe games. it, Doug? I've been playing mad video games right now. You how we the dynamic the, the has shifted. Tables, the tables have turned. I well, I'm seventy. I'm seventy five percent of the way to to platinuming uh, Hogwarts Legacy. Well, go into it. Tell us all about the go, transphobic go game. Let's go. Just don't don't stir that up. You're gonna, you're gonna, <laughs> no, no, no. It's all good. <laughs> I'm, I'm, look, look. circle jerk. Oh, I'm just kidding. Go ahead. I, I don't care what anybody says. I don't. Gonna come I don't to our, uh, I'm not transphobic, and I don't believe in the whole theory behind that. But anyways, whatever. There's no theory We're behind. Okay, no, wait, actually, not, I, I'm gonna. Go, I'm gonna go take it today. <laughs> you can go ahead. Go ahead. Hook, line, and sinker. Person gives a fuck. 
about you playing Hogwarts Legacy. Some people might choose not yeah. to. Like, I'm not playing Hogwarts Legacy. Gaming Circle Jerk, a shitty fucking trolling subreddit, thought mm -hmm. it'd be fucking funny to go to these people's fucking pages and just shit on them. And it was really mm -hmm. shitty. And now people are like, oh, all these fucking progressive fucking libtars out here are shaming you yeah. if you play Hogwarts. No one gives a fuck if you play Hogwarts Legacy. No one oh, gives a fuck if you play Hogwarts Legacy. You know what the most ironic time, part about no it was? No one gives a fuck if you play Hogwarts Legacy. Is that the people that were going and harassing streamers, it Again, seems like they subreddit. went... Yeah, no, 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 but I mean, like, the people that I, I saw were getting harassed on, on Twitch were, like, very innocent, like, young women or something like that. Like, it was like, always, like, it was always, like, people that you... I, I, that, the most unassuming people you know what i mean like there's probably some people playing hogwarts legacy you, maybe you could have like typecast as like oh, right, the there's, no, there's no rhyme or reason it was a shitty trolling subreddit yeah. that fucking now it's like there's news headlines about it and it's like fuck this is so fucking stupid yeah. it's but so but, again i just want to say that hogwarts legacy yeah take it away and, anyways there is a trans uh person in the game fyi i'm sure um, there is don't care. I'm yeah. sure so. there's the game. The <laughs> game is like... complex and has. <laughs> I actually had a moment where, like, I had to do like a double take. I was like, "Wait a second, is my female character using a man?" Like, I, like I was, like I was scratching my head. I was like, "Wait a minute, isn't this like the thing that like?" Good, it's progressive. Who cares? It's... No, 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 I'm not. It's not a complaint. I'm know, not complaining. Not. I'm just. I'm. I'm merely just saying that I find it very ironic that people are saying that you're. But it, the game has like. I'm like, but no one's again. No one's. That's the thing. No one's actually. No one is saying that, and that's I think even still the part of it. No one actually yeah. is still saying that. It's still just yeah. again, a trolling subreddit. Sure. You know what I mean? Like the game's massive, so like that's a very, uh, very small item. I mean, the game, the op the the open world aspect of the game is a we'll little talk overwhelming. About talk about yeah, your experience about, the game. About, yeah, so like the game's fantastic. Uh the first I actually have played probably 30 hours so far and the majority of it has has been spent in Hogwarts Castle. Like I haven't even spent that much time like doing the side quests and the open world. I spent most of the time you can um use a spell called Revelios and it kind of like uh You you Avada Kedavra motherfuckers already? I, I'm not. I don't. I no. Uh, no, I'm not yet. No. Um. Uh, I actually got my ass whooped last night for the first time, and I was really upset about it because I respawned, and I'm really confused because I died in this area trying to save this this uh, um, this dude's magic uh, transport shut. No, what, 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 oh my god! Why can I? Why am I blanking out? What's the name of the wagons? The transport things in the back in the back of the days. A wagon? I don't understand. What? I don't like know. A convoy? Like a... Yeah, this guy has like these these uh like wagons that are tra that are used by magic, and they can like go back to where he is, but you have to like beat the enemies to like let the free them up to go back to where the the traitor is. Interesting. And um, I was in the middle of fighting all these goblins, and I definitely I don't know what happened, man. But they were like fucking like twenty goblins, and I got overrun. <laughs> and I I mean I got like three spells I can cast, and so is the whole I... game open world in the sense that there are other players running around doing stuff, or is it just no? Only there's no, you areas. can't you can't see other people. Okay. Uh, when, like, you, when you ask, are you talking about like NPCs? Are you talking about no people, like players, people playing? No, I can't see. I can't see any other players. But there are areas where you could like play with people, though. No, Isn't I don't there, think like, so. Oh, I thought I thought that was the thing. not you to can, my knowledge. You can, if there you can are, duel people. If there is, I haven't gotten there yet, or I haven't seen. It. No, you can I, duel I, people. You can duel people, but the dueling is like actually a uh, part of the game like like but the, is that a, is that you're doing npcs or you're doing yeah you're people? doing you're doing npcs yeah for some reason i thought this game was you're playing as other wizards and witches no 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 it's purely single player no oh i um, didn't i did not realize that yeah, yeah yeah it's purely single player so the game's great you start off um the, first of all the storyline i really like it like the the game has it's, it's like um it's like what i wish they would do with star wars where they would because you know this is harry potter Star Wars is like focused on the Skywalker saga, right? But there's so many parts about the Star Wars universe that they could pull from and do things that are completely unrelated to it. Well, this is what this yes. is. This is like everything. There's there's no mention of like Dumbledore, Snape, uh, Harry right. Potter. Nothing is mentioned about any of this stuff. I mean, the Weasley family's in the game, and like there's like ghosts around Hogwarts that are throwbacks like Peeves the clown sure. that's in the book is in the game he's always like roaming around causing havoc but like there's no causing callbacks mischief. yeah there's there's no callbacks to any but like Hermione uh, none of it so 
Um, I mean, there's Merlin. There's talks of like Merlin, which yeah. who's a wizard that went to Hogwarts, but whatever. It's not. I don't think that's that has anything to do. With it. So, <laughs> so for me, um, <clears throat> that's my favorite part is that like you start off in the storyline that's that's uh really kind of very interesting, and um, you know, you're starting off Hogwarts as a fifth year student, and they don't really tell you why. You just kind of like are getting thrown into this scenario, and some stuff starts popping off, and you end up at Hogwarts, and you get to do the Sorting Hat thing. Definitely got into to Hufflepuff. Wait, Check a fifth year out. student, but you get put in, you get you show up to do the Sorting Hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess it's a thing in the game, right? They'll mention there's like a there's like a there. I'm I'm again. This is very early on, so this is not a spoiler. Yeah. But like they'll they'll allude to the fact that there is a uh, there's 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 only been like a very select handful of exceptional wizards and uh witches that have uh or is it witches i can't remember yeah, yeah. um that have that have been Warlocks. introduced to hogwarts as fifth year students so anyways this is an interesting part of the game so <clears throat> every class has their own um series of quest lines and the first weekend of the game or the first week of the game the statistics were Number one was House Slytherin. Number two was Gryffindor. Three was Ravenclaw. Four was Hufflepuff. Classic. Right now, that the game has been completed, it has been deemed that Hufflepuff has the coolest quest chain because they actually have a quest chain where you have to go to Azkaban, and they're the well, only cool. ones. Yeah, like you're the only ones that get to do that. So like, it's well, kind of cool, funny cool, cool. because a lot of people are ha- are re-rolling as hufflepuff just to, to go see just that. go to ask yeah 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 because yeah. they're the old, they're literally the only ones that get to go see they get to see the what are the names of the thing the invisible de- they're not death dealer i can't remember the name um, um, mike or trondo was telling me all about this because he's like really crazy into the books but anyways go there's like figure. some there's some uh uh cool monster that you can't see in any of the other ones and dementors yeah there you go. dementors yes thanks nick so oh hi nick oh hi, yeah nick. thanks nick um yeah so anyways that that i thought that was really cool uh i've been having fun i pet every cat that i walk by fyi i don't know why like why not there's no rhyme or reason behind it i just do it um you can pick them up you can't do anything yeah i mean so i've read that there are people that are like using um uh levioso or whatever it is to like pick up the cat and then you can basically like pull it pull it pull it and then like send it off the side of a building or something oh no <laughs> yeah was, but i mean no. obviously they don't they don't die they land on their feet but um it's still it's like there's just of course there's got to be people that find nefarious things to do with the cat npcs just vibing in the in the castle but yeah 10 out of 10 game i think it's great the first like six hours of the game i spent just doing puzzles around hogwarts like i think it's just i think it's great like the stories the little um like when you're walking by npcs and they're telling stories or even the ghosts are telling stories uh the paintings will like follow you and um i think it's just overall definitely a great game i know there's people complaining there's like not a ton of spells in the game i think there's only like 20 i think that's kind of also so. how um harry potter's is though i don't think it's a very magically diverse like in terms no. of it does, and when you when you it seems like the world is magic but in terms of the magic that you can perform it doesn't really seem like there's that much like magic to be had outside of like the spells that they cast like in the in the movies and books or at least that's what i got from it yeah so um pretty excited to to finish the game i i mean i i i, I swear I, I feel like i've spent like probably 95 percent of my time doing side quests and just trying to do all of the stuff so i can platinum the game before charlie even buys it but uh, I, feel like that's, 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 I wasn't uh, even planning on buying it. So. Good, oh, good okay. Argument. Well, excuse me. Well, I'm gonna platinum the game anyways, bitch. Now Go for it. Here. You hear me? Because now you're definitely gonna platinum the game before Charlie. Technically speaking, it's still before you platinumed it, even if it's you're not. Tr- gonna it's get not even it. technical. It's true. So... That's all there is to it. <laughs> I'm gonna win on the technicality. <laughs> the best way to win, baby. The best way to win. Technicality that wasn't even established, but anyway, whatever. It doesn't no, matter. It, it, listen, I feel listen. like it's a foundation. It's foundationally established. It's just kind of a thing with you guys now. Now yeah, I'm gonna buy yeah. the game tonight and, and platinum before you before yeah, I yeah, leave. Imagine we wake up tomorrow. <laughs> He's gonna wake like, up tomorrow, I, and Amanda's gonna be like, "Josh, why did you do this?" Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Charlie's been up for 48 hours. <laughs> what did you do to this poor man? <laughs> yeah. Uh, what what else have you been playing? Has it been mostly in the Hogwarts? I started Dead Space. Um, oh, great! We could both talk about Dead Space. Yeah. Well, I haven't. I haven't. I truthfully, I haven't played like a ton of it. Uh, I, my it. my uh, friend is a huge horror 
nut and um i had been telling her about it she was over and we were checking out my new oh i got my new tv tight, five inch tight. tv on the wall sick af uh it's definitely a huge difference um i didn't even talk about the the exterior parts of hogwarts sorry hold on let me back oh yeah keep going back to hogwarts sorry, before, sorry, before sorry, i finish that and sorry, i just got a notification okay, that sorry, she sorry, was sorry, actually sorry, playing sorry, sorry. hogwarts right now literally just popped okay, up so the mounts the oh, mounts sorry. right like riding on a broomstick is really fun I saw in the PC version, people are, of course, are already modding the broomstick. My favorite one, Classic. somebody replaced the broomstick with Shrek. So they're literally like mounting Shrek Get like on here. top of his lower back. And they're just, and he's just like, he's like got his wings out and he's just flying, <laughs> flying through the sky. Classic. It looks so stupid. But um, the the exploring outside is overwhelming af for me because uh like there's a there's a video there, there's a couple of videos floating around the internet my favorite one is when the woman walks up on the trolley and she's like would you guys like anything from the trolley and it's got um voldemort and he's doing that spell like you were saying because that really is how it like when you first start the first thing you want to do is just like let me just go cast some shit on somebody and then it's yeah of course when you find out that it does nothing to the npcs so yeah that's like a that's like a sad part about it but um the other thing that's really cool is um Oh, I blanked out. I, I, there, oh, the, the other one was uh, the fact that, like, um, you, you cast Revelios like, every two seconds. So the guy is, like, a real-life example of what it's like to play Hogwarts Legacy. And it's like, Revelios, he takes two steps. Revelios takes two steps. Revelios. And that's, like, literally what it's like when you're outside because you don't want to miss anything, right? Well, Revelios reveals things that can be hidden or um, just any, like, inanimate object that you need to interact with. And... <laughs> See, I end up just like walking around in the outside world. Literally, I think like I take like five steps and I cast it, and it's a little um, obnoxious. But and there, there's the, the open world is so big, and I've covered like such a small part of it. And I'm thinking like, man, if I want to uncover this whole thing, it's gonna take me hours, dude, because my dumb ass is gonna be sitting there. You know, I can't miss anything. Don't want to miss like a little satchel. It's got like twelve gold, gold coins in it. You know. So, um, did you get the satchel? Anyway. I've gotten all the satchels. Um, I, I don't care if it's 12 coins or two. I'm going to get them. Oh, um, silly. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, it's okay. But it is cool how, like, you'll be out you'll be out doing stuff, and you have to, like, go find um, herbs. You have to find herbs to, like, you know, go grow herbs, in huh? your herbology class. Then Tight. you have to go. <laughs> I knew you'd be looking <laughs> for the herbs. Then you have to take the herbs that you grow in herbology class, and you mix potions. Are they different strains of herbs? Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with me? I'm tired. Oh man, I'm and you know the, the 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 teach. Yeah, anyways, game's great. Uh, I I highly recommend it for anybody that's. Uh, that's See, I thought for... there was more multiplayer aspect to it. I don't know why I thought it was just single player game. No, it's no. There's no multiplayer. I mean, unless unless they've added it and I didn't know no, about no, no, it. I, but... No, I I I know almost nothing about the game. So, right. Well, you I mean it's, you guys aren't really gonna play it so it makes i might sense. play it. if it ever goes on sale or if i can pirate it i'd probably play it yeah I'll pl i mean i'll I play mean, it if it goes on sale or we get it for free but yeah 10 out of 10 um i also so i did the intro to dead space freaking phenomenal dude like talk about you were you were on you were on point with the so i actually turned my soundbar off because it was freaking me out too much um yep. the 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 sound of like the because that's the thing that got me in resident evil 7 when i played it the first time and i went into the basement charlie you probably know what i'm talking about and you start hearing like like a pin drop over here so you like turn around real quick and there's nothing there and then you turn back around and there's like a thing right in front of your face and you're like oh son of a bitch yes yeah that's that's kind of what this is like um where it has like very like incredible ambient noises and uh or ambient noises and uh, yeah, I I think I, I'm really excited to play it, but I kind of not gonna lie, dude. Like I can't play it with the lights off. Game is scary as shit. Like, and I'm not trying to be a bitch or anything, but it legit had me kind of like. No, I don't know if it was the weed talking or what, but I started to get a little. Uh, yeah, yeah. I was I like, play, was that was I, that I upstairs about... or was that in the game? Like, I yeah. I, I, don't, I don't I don't know, man. Like, I'm a little I'm a little freaked out now. I think I'm gonna have to turn a light. I play on about or twenty twenty minutes at a time, and I, so. Because I loved the first Dead Space, and I feel like I wasn't as much of a chicken when I first played it. It was definitely scary, but I, like, I was, like, scared, but I wasn't, like, fuck. But I think now, more so, my anticipation of stuff has me more afraid just because I'm like, oh, something is going to happen. Or whatever, you know, whatever that might be. Yeah. But I, I definitely find myself in more of a, like, I'm scared for scared sake. <laughs> like, the game, the game is, the remastered is, like, really good. 
the graphics are really good. They're, they added some extra bits here and there to make it to make the game better, which is like really cool. Um, and it's not like they they added scarier things. It's not like the game is extra scary. You know what I mean? But I find myself like like literally like gripping my chair like i'm like like, <laughs> like a little like hunched over like i had all the lights on i have to you know what i mean um the game is great though i mean the game like the game itself was already solid and so just having it like a little bit of like some nicer like nicer not nicer graphics well it is nicer graphics they, is they nice, did redo dude. the graphics so like nice. yeah um having that like redone is like really cool um because it's just, like, really crisp. Like, if you go back and look at the uh, the first Dead Space, you're like, oh, yeah, this is definitely... This is definitely... They put some, like, love into making it look better. And there is some... There is a couple newer things. Like, there are some, like, side quests that I don't remember. Because I'm, like, about halfway through at this point. Um, only because, literally, like, I'm not joking. I can only play for, like, 20 minutes at a time. I, my anxiety, like, gets too high. Like, straight up. Um, That's funny. It's It's so silly. <clears throat> um but yeah the game is uh the game's great the game's fire i'm uh i'm loving i'm loving playing a, a game that i used to love so much um and just having it i'm kind of wondering like what's crisp. the next big remake they're gonna do because it seems like a lot of the studios are just cashing in on on of course making a lot of big stuff so i wonder what the next they, they know that that's uh that's, be. that's what'll sell it's uh and not like yeah. resident evil 4 because resident evil 4 remake is going to be disgusting i mean we just got i was going down um <laughs> we just got hashtag, like you know hashtag. the metroid uh remake which was like didn't see that didn't even know that was happening um, i love how i love how charlie just like doesn't even react to it he just gives it like a bitch kid shut up what's the i mean you guys are because you guys are silly. silent hill that would be a good one yeah i would play silent that. Hill would be cool. play that i would play silent yeah hill. that would be i wish that yeah that would do that i would you know you know silent hill would... go ahead uh I, go ahead i'm trying to think of what what it's called but you know, Silent Hill was always, like, one of those games to me where I didn't get into the series very much, but it, it always seemed scarier to me, the Resident Evil. It, it wasn't a matter of me not liking it or anything. It was just a matter of, like, I, my parents wouldn't buy me the games because uh, Resident Evil caused me enough cost, – cost <laughs> them enough in therapy. Yeah, it's more so for them. For them, not for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I never – I never, I think I, like, played the, the, the demo to Silent yeah. Hill 1, but I never played – the full game in completion and it looks off yeah dude i would shit my i would shoot a brick if they did parasite, parasite. parasite eve was great would lose my mind if they remade that game that is that is probably that one game. of my oh it's oh, so dude, good. it's one of the best rpgs of all time like easily it, they, they did this crazy story about like um uh people's mitochondria being manipulated and mm. uh yeah like this cool. one woman named eve could manipulate people's mitochondria, mitochondria. Power of the yeah. cell and it was in New York City, and like they like the, always uh, in New York City. Yeah, always. The story, so might, the story took place. My fucking like the... anxiety is all these fucking <laughs> movies and games, all these scary fucking world-ending events are always in New York City. I'm like, yeah, of course that. Of course At the New York, uh, wherever they do the opera, wherever like one of the opera places is, and then you go over to uh, Grand Central Park, and there's like a whole thing there, and yeah, it's a great game, fucking phenomenal game. But, anyways. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm is that to... all you've been playing? Uh, so I yeah, so Dead Space been playing a lot of because even though I play for twenty minutes, I'll like take a break, chill, like calm down, yeah, have a glass of water, <laughs> and then I'll come back in and play some more. Um, but then also, uh, there has been a new, there's a new season in. Um, oh my god, I'm so sorry, I'm so tired. Also, my next door neighbors had a um, a birthday party last night that went until very late in the a.m. So at two thirty, I was woken up to a very loud uh, "Happy Birthday" being sung. So that was really fun. Um, uh, there is a new season and new cards released in Marvel Snap, and I've been playing a lot of that because there's there's this one new card. There's a Modok card that came out because like, obviously with Quantum Media, they are uh, they're going a little heavy into that. So there's like a lot of like there's a new Ant Man card. There's a Modok got released. There's a couple other things. Um, and Modok is a card that when you play it, it discards your entire hand. So there's a few really fun decks built around discarding your entire hand. Like there was a discard deck from before that was like Morbius and Lady Sif and uh, Apocalypse, some other things. But this version, this like Modok, um, oh, he was the catalyst for that. Well, no, for this th for this one, it's it's a little bit different than the old version with Apocalypse. You still have Apocalypse. You still have some of the other cards that that were there, but 
um now you add in like the collector so like if you could discard swarm and you get two swarm collector gets two points but then if you modok later on then you get four points in the collector because you know, it's four swarm being added it's just like a bunch of like there's different win conditions which make it really fun too um so i've been playing a ton of that uh, to the point where actually let me open it back up because this is the this is the furthest i've ever been in a uh in like a rank because well there's like mo cause there's multiple like rankings here there's a season pass rank there is your collector level and then there's your actual rank uh, for the season, I'm at 60, and I've never, I've never made it past like 50, and I, I'm like crushing it with this Modoc deck. So I'm like, wow, oh, maybe, I could, maybe I can get to infinite, oh. which is 100, which would be really cool. This man's going, going for the overachievers uh, trophy. Your boy's got, how, and how long does this last for? What does it say? Does it say? Is it just for the season? So yeah, there's two weeks in the season. So like, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to get to infinite, which is really cool. The deck is really fun though. It's like. All it is, what are the cards? It is, yeah, Sunspot, which is the one where it every unused energy get adds into them. Morbius, which every discard you get two points. Collector, every card that comes into your hand that didn't start your deck is a point. Wolverine, when it's destroyed, you discard it, it adds it to random location plus four, plus two. Swarm, Colleen Wing, Rogue. So Rogue is great because there's a lot of people playing this deck and then also decks with Wong where Wong is uh, ongoing do on reveal things twice. So rogue will steal either of those, which is really tight, um, which is like a little counterplay. And then all the rest are like, yeah, Lady Sif and Dracula and then Apocalypse and Modoc being the, the, the catalyst. Really fun deck. It's been really, it's been really fun to play. That sounds dumb. Um, I needed so I, need I don't know why I stopped playing that. I mean, you know, if it's, if it's not your, like it might not be something I don't know. I feel like I like for, I was talking with a friend the other day who's a big magic guy, and he's like, "That game sucks." And I was like, "Yeah, because it's not what you want. It doesn't do what you want. Like you play magic, which is a very intricate, more extensive. They're, they're not even your deck. Your yeah. deck has sixty cards. This deck has twelve. And there's you know what? My friend like, Michael had the same. My my friend Toronto had the same problem. He's like, I don't like that. Um, he's like, it's too easy. He's like, I don't like that you're not um like attacking anything. Like he, but there he is likes the, that's the thing is like you, there those those decks exist in simpler forms. Yeah, well, you know, I, so I agree all, with you, but, you know, it's like, like some people... Every very... deck that exists in any other card game exists. It's just in a simpler form. There's 12 cards, so it's not going to be what you'd expect in a full-fledged 60-card fucking deck. It's just not... You know what I mean? Like, it's not what it is. Um, But yeah, I, 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 really, I don't know. I, uh, I'm, I really enjoy the game. I play it a lot. I play that probably the most out of things. Like, just actually... Does Steam tell you how much you play of the game? It probably does, right? Yes, it does tell you. Yeah, I have 80, uh, 73 hours in Snap on Steam, so that's not counting my phone t time, too. Wow. So lot, lots of Marvel Snap. And then Dead Space. I wish I, I wish I could get back into it. I've been wanting to find a game, like some mobile games, to just like catch my attention. I just haven't had time to really dive into it. I've been playing. So the game I was thinking of that I was like, I want to remake of was Fatal Frame. I don't know if anyone oh, that was ever a good one. Yeah, that was sounds familiar. Game. Yeah, that's, it's on, that's a PS1, right? A PS2 original Xbox uh -huh. and Wii. Essentially, it was a horror game where the only the only thing you had was a was a antique oh, like a flashlight. No, it was a camera. So oh. you had to like find the, you had to find out what was going on, and like all these ghosts would and spirits or whatever or monsters would come after you. But the only way you could defend them is take photos of them, and you had limited photos that you could take. So oh. it was really, it was really well done. So I would, really, I would love to see a Fatal Frame remake. Interesting. That's I, so interesting. I think you could really do stuff with it. I'm, I think I'm gonna wait to play Dead Space until I get the the basement done, and then I'll be the Dude, first game I play. Yeah, you're, man, you, <sighs> yeah, go ahead. I, and I couldn't play that. An adult diaper. For that. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't play that in like surround sound. Like yeah. no way, dude. Especially in a basement. Fuck that, dude. Yeah. I need. A, I would need like a. Nine millimeter or a AR fifteen at my disposal to the next to the side of me, which is actually a really bad idea because I'd be like uber paranoid. So hundred percent, it's a really bad idea. Hundred percent. But um, yeah, I've been wanting to play a game, so I've been playing like this real. Excuse me, I subscribe to the subreddit iOS gaming. If anyone's never heard of that, it's a great place never to just, wow. just find, like you know, uh, not obscure like obscure games that. Uh, you know, normally fine. Just people like post things and find it. So I've been playing this small little MMO um, called what is it called? Uh, Eater Spire. 
Etterspire, E T E R Spire. So Etterspire. It's just it's an indie game made by like three people. Um, it's very basic, but it's just it scratches the itch for right now. Because um, I think the game that I'm probably going to put a lot of time into, and I, I say this with every game, and then I end up backing out. It's just that division game that's on coming to mobile. So I don't oh, know. Yeah, I keep forgetting about that. I don't know when that's happening. So I'm hoping it, it's in beta right now. So I'm hoping it's sometime soon. So hopefully sometime this summer. Um, but I will I will play the shit out of that division game. Um, especially yeah. if it's because it looks like the graphics on that look like it's it's better than the original division graphics, which is kind of crazy. Which were great. Which were very which good. Were, which were really good. Yeah. But right now, I haven't. I'm I'm still trying to finish Dying Light Two because I haven't had any time to play. Division. Dog, it's okay. We know you haven't been playing because you have like a whole like you've basically done more <laughs> man shit than I could possibly. <laughs> fathom i like it like if it came to me and the end of the world and having to do man shit we'd all be fucked charlie is like yeah let me just build a basement and then go hop on a computer do some it shit play some video games and then go build a fucking home theater yeah essentially ridiculous your natural talent level is higher than mine and i'm jealous it's just YouTube, man. I just it's no, just problem no. solving. Listen, listen, you say <laughs> that, but you don't understand that like some people lack the ability to do things in I, I could I couldn't do it. Like I, I just I'm just a fucking you do bonehead, it. dude. It's, maybe you can do yeah, it. maybe you could learn like listen, I, I we were, before you hopped in me and Trevor talking about this, like I learned on YouTube I just watched I had to change a toilet out on what YouTube I looked at a video to do it and I just and did it. There's nothing to do with anything else. It's like some of these things that's what I was saying before, some of these things anyone can do you pay a professional so much money because of how annoying it is for them to do it and they've also if done I it paid a plumber, times if i if i paid a plumber to come through to change the toilet who to charge me like 500 bucks even though it's literally just pick it up move it put a new one on you know what i'm saying there's not like anything more to that but they charge you so much because of the fact that it's just a dumb thing to do but like if you just look up a video how to do it like some things you cannot do obviously but like most things you'd be surprised by your ability to do them especially the fact that youtube exists you know what I mean? Like, you, YouTube is like crazy how much information just exists on there of how to do pretty like menial things, you know? Yeah. Things that are like stuff that could kill me, I try not to do myself. As you should not. You should, like, 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 electrician work, maybe. I can do maybe some, I could do a majority of electrical work. I cannot do, I'm, I Any, don't touch anytime, panel stuff. Anytime like a guide or something will say turn off the, the breaker or something or turn off your, or not your breaker, but your main power thing, I'm like, you know what? I'm not gonna fuck with any of this. I think uh, I think uh, I think I'm good. You know what yeah. I mean? I can do most stuff, but I can't. I can't. I don't fuck with. I don't fuck with that. Nor do I fuck with plumbing because plumbing can cause leaks. And I do some sure. basic stuff like toilet stuff. Water whatever. damage. Water. It can lead to some real. real oh, I know for sure. Oh, I know. Ventures. Yeah. Oh, I know. Well, both actually, if anything, both of you would know more than I would. <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah. We have a uh, we have a, a new user in the chat called Calark who says I watched a YouTube video that shows how to successfully crush a white claw can on your forehead without knocking yourself out. Very helpful. Yes. No shit. How do you do that, man? A new a new user named Calark. A new user. Yeah. Brand new first time chatter. New yeah. user. First time chatter. That must have been reset or something. And I didn't say that. I'm just being facetious. Oh, you're being yeah. Oh, you're being silly. silly. I was trolling. being silly. I was trolling. Yeah. yeah. I've never crushed a can of white claw on my head once in my entire life. I don't know what you're talking so, about. So, we've talked about what games we played. Have we talked about uh, the big announcement for Diablo 4? Yeah, let's go. No, we haven't talked about I actually didn't even watch that video. I just scrolled. I haven't watched it either. I'm, I'm... The video does, honestly, the video, it's like a cool little lore. It doesn't fucking matter. It's going to make, I'm going to, I'd rather well, watch I'll just it. go ahead and, uh, where's the infographic that March, I had pulled up? I think 17th of yeah, June. Yeah, so early, early access yeah. uh, for pre-orders. Oh, excuse, sorry, pre-purchase. For beta early access on March seventeenth to nineteenth, and then the open beta is the twenty fourth or twenty sixth. I got characters. For your characters' progress will carry over from the seventeenth to the nineteenth to the twenty fourth to twenty sixth. But after that, they're going to reset the characters for the yeah. launch. The only thing I'm going to play the beta. The only reason why I play the beta is if you get like something for playing the beta. For playing the beta, sure. I, I'm not. I personally will not be spending any time, if all, if any at all, on this, just because I already oh, played the beta. Oh, I will. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I might hop on just to see, see how you guys are enjoying it. But oh, I, really I, uh, I didn't do it already because I got into the beta. Hey, so I didn't even. Me, I played uh, to level thirty-two. Must man. have been I didn't fucking even, cool, dude. I didn't even play that far because I told myself I didn't want to burn myself out. Here I am, like, give me, beta, that... give me the beta, give me the beta, and then you give me yeah. shit, and you two fucking dorks get NDAs about it in an email, that, I... and then you immediately talk about it in our fucking podcast. I didn't. And I can't I even get the chance I, I, to break an NDA. I told you to play it. You just want to play it on Charlie, PlayStation. Charlie, it's the principle of the fact, okay? It's the principle, okay? Oh my God, it's is the that principle. Right. So I'm pretty excited. Stan, I think Stan is probably already trying to figure out how to get off of work for all, every <laughs> other day for that. Um, <laughs> Stan's pretty, yeah. <laughs> Stan, Stan's, Stan is standing hard. <laughs> Stan already uh, put in a six-month leave of absence at work for the July, or was it June 4th? June, June 6th. 6th. Um, oh yeah, because it's six six, uh, twenty twenty three. We didn't want to wait until twenty twenty six. One less than six, so it's almost six six six. What'd you say, Charlie? So too bad they didn't wait until twenty twenty six. Because there you go. It's yeah. Are you guys gonna? Yeah, I think you already says, but are you gonna get it on uh, console or play I have or uh, PC? I have it on console. I have it on yeah. computer, but I think it's isn't it cross platform? It is cross platform. Cross platform. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. We'll play, Let's and then once I get my platinum, I'll switch to PC. Dude, dude. once so I get silly. my platinum, how you gonna uh... buy the game twice? Yeah, yeah, I bought, I buy him twice, dude. I'm a bonehead. I can't even. Deny it. I have the because I wait till I have... it goes on sale on I have... Blizzard, and then I have buy Diablo it. Two remake on both. I have, I have it on both as well, and on yeah. Um, That's so silly. You guys are fucking I know. silly. Idiots, right, I know. I, I don't. I don't. There's only forty dollars, and it's twenty dollars on Blizzard for like a Christmas sale. Listen, the dollar double cheeseburger doesn't exist anymore at McDonald's, but oh. it's fully dollar double cheeseburgers. Okay, what would you rather have? A game double you already own, or fully dollar double cheeseburgers? A game I already own. Uh, I think I would rather have the game because McDonald's makes me want to die. Yeah, exactly. Um, I don't want bubble guts. It's still, over it's here. A, listen, it's the principle of the fact. If you ever get that down on on your luck, you be you be praying for those dollar double cheeseburgers. <gasps> Wait, yeah, a McDouble is a dollar. Wait. It is. It's on the dollar menu. Maybe there is still a dollar double cheeseburger. Okay. Yo. So the other day. Okay. I know this is. There, we're, we're totally derailing the conversation from video games. No. This are, is. This are is you, very, very. This is very. Food. For are you a second. new to the channel? This is very important. But the other day, I was watching this uh, video on on Instagram, and it's this guy, and he always talks about like you got to respect the schmear, huh? And stuff like that. Oh, the, the uh, fucking but, the the New Jersey Italian. Dude. Yeah, but he went into yeah. this. He went to this place, this Italian deli, and I swear to God, they had these like open face Italian sandwiches, and there was this one where they were just like throwing mortadelle across the deli onto this onto the sandwich, and it was just like watching the guy. The guy was just like crying. He was just like, "It's so beautiful seeing." The yeah, mortadelle just funny. raining from the sky, you know? And I swear, these sandwiches look fucking incredible. I wanted to, like, reach through the screen and eat one so bad, dude. Like, I posted some oh. dumb shit. He actually, he, he. You got to respect day. the schmear. Well, there when you, enough, when you come to New York, one. Josh, I have two places to take you. One, there's one place in Williamsburg that I took Dom to. And it had okay. the, um, was the Jim Carrey? I think it was the sandwich. Yeah, I don't know if they're any good anymore. I, I haven't I had, heard that they've been slipping. I haven't had one in a long time, so I don't really know. There's also another place in, in New Jersey that's by um, by Airy Rental, which is has like you 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 get like a mozzarella sandwich, and it is the be they make everything fresh in house, and it's so goddamn good. That's so good, dude. That's it's not, you know what's funny is like you, you do know, have the good in New I'm Jersey like, though, so that's the only. Bad I'm part. a little on the I'm a little yeah. on the lactose side of things, but you know what's weird is oh, I found whenever it. I eat. Whenever I eat like real mozzarella, like real mutz, it doesn't make me sick. It's so weird. Like I don't know if it's just something it's preservatives. About... Probably. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I think I think it's something about the way that it's made in that like fresh, fresh state. But um, it's, it's so, much, so the number one Guido is his Instagram handle, and the video I posted was someone making a cauliflower pizza, and it was literally just oh like, yeah, I saw that. Oh <laughs> yeah, cauliflower <laughs> just like sliced down the middle as yeah. like, one solid piece, and then. It's fucking. Yeah. It was, that was very good. That was very good. He makes some, he makes a few good ones. Some of them are a little I like. I figured out how you cocksuckers are so skinny. You eat disrespectful shit like this on a daily basis. <laughs> you eat disrespectful <laughs> shit like this. 
dude. So funny. It's so good. I cause... love how he ends it with cuz. It's so good. That's one of that's one of the people on the internet that doesn't that that I I, I can't get enough of. There's a few people. He's very like funny. That. He's yeah. very funny. Number one Guido. Classic. Guido. Italians are classic. Yeah. So uh, I'm uh I got my Hogwarts legacy. Next, it's gonna be Resident Evil 4 Destruction. See, I'm I'm see the, the hot Hogwarts Legacy is just the appetizer. The real meal is going to be getting the platinum trophy before Charlie in Resident Evil Four Remake. That's going to be that's the challenge. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I had to like, I had to like come back. I had, I had to like have my coming to Jesus moment with Hogwarts, where I was like realizing that I, I could, I could do it. I had to like, you know, recondition my my thought process to where I could believe in myself to actually get a platinum trophy. When and when is, when is that coming out? March twenty fourth. March twenty. Uh, March twenty fifth. <clears throat> March twenty fourth. Oh, I get it. Because he <laughs> he wants a day ahead of you. <laughs> that makes sense. Let's see. Let's see. What day of the he's, week? He's, is that? he's already he's already putting his time off. In he's like, oh, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this. March twenty fourth is a Friday. Calor, Friday, the new days. the new chatter asked if you moved. No, he just he moved. No, the new chatter. Room. This is a funny bit we're still doing. No. Uh, yeah. So that's a Friday. Uh, you know, we typically get long weekends occasionally. Oh yeah, movies, yeah. So it's, yeah. It's, uh, you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. You're gonna need it. You're gonna need it. <laughs> You're gonna need it. He says. Yeah. Well, so the yeah, fun... Resident Evil. Uh, hey, I'll tell you what, man. Resident Evil summons a whole different, a whole different beast mode in in Chef Crondo. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This isn't. This isn't a fucking. Actually, I'm saying this, but I mean, you're I already recognizing. Big... I talked to a big game about Final Fantasy. I still don't even have the game. <laughs> you said the same thing about Crisis Core. It's like, I've been practicing. No, that's what I'm saying. I've Crisis been playing Core, the game. Even, even, it awakens I, a new beast in me. I'm like, okay. Look, I, 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 even, I even beat the game on my PSP before it came out just to practice for this to come out. And then, yeah, we won't talk about that. <laughs> Somebody stole that trophy from me. I didn't yeah, steal shit. That's what, that's, you didn't even buy the game yet. You haven't even played it. Still, I don't need to. That's fine. All right. So we're, I'm, we're going, we're going hard. Oh. Like I'm, it's, it's. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wake up early on Friday. Okay. And I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna wake up at like you'll 4 a.m. Do you want me to give you a head start? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Face. He's sure, like I'll take a handicap. Realize. Whatever. <laughs> I'll take a handicap. Whatever you I want. I am the handy. I am the handy. This whole thing is handicapped. I can't. <laughs> I can't wait. Uh, I don't care what. Hope I haven't. I haven't timed it out, so I have no idea if we're doing a pod that weekend. We're gonna do a pod that yeah. weekend. Doesn't matter. Oh, oh, oh okay. Okay. Oh. okay. Well, wait, I won't. I won't be able to. I'm gonna be busy platinuming the game. I'm gonna already have it by then. <laughs> he says I'm gonna have it by then. I'm, I mean, if it takes 30 hours to a platinum, I mean, that's an easy 30 hours. I feel hours. like it's going to be longer than that because usually there's like a, you have to do one playthrough and then there's like a, it unlocks the um, professional mode or whatever. The, yeah, the, 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 RE, one is. the RE3 remake was, had to beat it on. You, you on, had to beat it on all or, of them. It was the Inferno or whatever. Yeah, you had to beat it on Inferno. Yeah. Uh, and then you have to get which like, I couldn't do. I actually I struggled to beat it on Inferno. I don't think I could. No, I, think I, I, could, I don't think like, I got past uh, the first like. Area. There, there were some really tough areas in in RE3. Like, like so I think you had to. Ha it was all about like the timing sequence. Like you had to you had to time certain things really well because you couldn't use all your ammunition on the the zombies. You had to save all of your ammunition for the bosses. Yeah, I'm trying to remember where where it was because there's a there's a it gets to a point where like if you make it all the way to a certain point, you can get like the unlimited ammo. But like I couldn't even get to that part. I kept dying. I spent like a couple hours trying to get Dude, past it. I had the unlimited ammo and I was still struggling because I suck. All right. That game was really not hard. I mean, but it, but the Inferno mode was, was another level. Like they actually made it pretty tough. I'm excited actually. I, I, RE4 was easily one of my favorite games of all time. Like, yeah. I, yeah. Dom, I know you're not like a big RE guy, but this is, this game is actually like legitimately very fun. You might enjoy it. Oh, yeah. I, 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 saw... Yeah, I, I don't know why I never really got I think it was more so well, just the shooting style was my biggest thing. I think that the, and, the, and this was the first one that deviated away from the tank controls, which which is the yeah. style that you probably are not a fan of. Where you like, stop this and shoot and stuff. Yeah, this is where you're, like, you're actually playing from an over-the-shoulder view. Yeah, it was and the first one. That that was why it would, like, like myself, like when you, well, the first time that Leon goes out and you like go over the shoulder and he's got like the 
the the red laser pointer and you're like laser pointing at things i was like this is fucking dope yeah i lost my mind yeah, yeah. i can't oh they confirmed and then, and then that it the, will have a, a new game plus which obviously we know I, I think one of my favorite parts about resident evil 4 was itemizing the briefcase like making sure you had like every square taken up so if like, you found like the little egg or like a little grenade like you always had you never left anything behind that's one of my favorite parts about resident evil 4 yeah that and collecting the little um the hidden treasures and then you can like some of the treasures are broken and you can put the treasures together and then sell them to the dude for even more money and the upgrades on the weapons i'm sorry that game is a shock wait that was what 2006 so dope, that dude. game came out originally yeah yeah, yeah. 2006 or 2007 one of the two uh, it says, oh, it was named Game of the Year at 2005, so 2005 is when it came out. Oh, well, I was wrong. <laughs> Fine. But, yeah, I'm, wow, that was a long-ass time ago, almost 20 years I know, ago. dude, I know. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we are old. We are old. Old gamers, but it's okay. I'm looking old forward. Old gamers. Looking forward to playing. Normally, if it was, like, a competition like this, I would actually just stay up all night, but I can't do that. I can't, I can't. I can't stay up. I've look if I if I tried to stay really up all night. Excuse me. Yes. It's I'm all, actually it's... I'm actually gonna try this time. I haven't actually okay. tried in the past. Okay. Okay. Put a I pin in this excuses. part right here. We're gonna He's see what happens. Actually, gonna try everyone. <clears throat> I'm actually gonna try. Actually, gonna try. The other times I was I was making excuses because of my uh, heroin. I mean, <clears throat> excuse me, World of Warcraft addiction. Um, but this time I'm gonna put the needle down and just stick another needle in. Yeah, I highly doubt that because a guaranteed what okay, I'm curious. What wow stuff comes See, out? See, I've already that's the March. thing, is like old war old nothing's oh. coming out. The uh, the uh trial of the Grand Crusader is the next raid and it doesn't come out until like April or May, and I've already just absolutely obliterated Old War, so I'm kinda like already bored with it. So now you now I have like no no hurdles in my way other than um ashy's pessimism towards my <laughs> my oh and three record <laughs> no faith no faith Ashie. i have faith i have faith he's I, got I, faith I, that see, i'm gonna feel like, make it i feel like four. you are the type of guy that loves an underdog story right i do you're absolutely yeah. correct so then you're gonna love on mark what is what's that sunday that i'm gonna I'm gonna get like a platinum. I feel like I need to get a platinum trophy and like just raise it over my head. Twenty six. If you if you yeah. beat me to it, I will, I will three D print you a platinum trophy. You will three D. Oh shit! Oh shit! Now I got extra incentive. I'm gonna have to start. Well, you're not gonna beat me. Research. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's up, Hooch? Hooch is here. Hooch is here to see uh, us. Talking smack about how Charlie's gonna lose at uh us. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, video games. I'm sorry. I'm like trying to order stuff, order food right now because you fucking ding dong. Well, I'm. I have to lead my first raid today. I'm pretty excited about it. But this is this is why he's gonna lose. By the way, why? Because I'm leading a raid today. Yeah, exactly. This is the 19th of February. We got 25 days less than that we got like 20 something days until can you not do math 28th well no it's because it ends on the 28th yeah no I, i'm actually 34 days. actually very stupid when it comes to math <sighs> so good so good what is chronic going to lose at this time resident evil 4 platinum run that's what it is i can't marathon anymore motion sickness starts to get the best of me that actually happens to my buddy Toronto. he can't play at real i feel really bad for him he can't play the last of us because it makes it gets him like really sick and i don't i'm like that blows dude. i have the same problem with vr which really sucks because i really like vr and i can't play it for more than like 20 minutes at a time yeah that really does blow because i used to love playing um beat saber that's like my favorite game to play i might pick i might try to pick it back up when the new PlayStation VR 2 comes out, which I actually don't know when that comes out. I'm actually curious about when it is, but um, PSVR 2. It comes out. Doesn't say. Oh, it's damn, it's pretty expensive. Like, it's almost $600 for it. But I mean, it what kind is? of makes the, v, the PlayStation VR 2. Oh. Oh, it's available next week. The VR 2? Yeah. twenty February oh. 22nd. All right. I'll wait. I'll wait to see for some reviews on it before I pick one up. <laughs> He's already thinking about getting one. 
I mean, I love PSVR. It's great. It's it's yeah. like I'm just very I'm I'm gonna be I'm gone for like two and a half weeks, so I'm not gonna be able to play. Where are you it. going? I'm headed to Europe on Monday tomorrow. Poor you. What are you doing? Are you for work or chilling? For work, yeah. Yeah, it's just I'm in Denmark for 48 hours. I'm in London for four days. I'm in Munich for 48 hours, and I'm home for 48 hours, and I go to Vegas for a week for work. So for what is that like for Adobe stuff? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's, well, that, that is where he works. That's, that's where. No, I, work. I know, but I mean, like, I didn't know if he like had to do. Uh, that was like film stuff. But no, it's a lot of it's a lot of a lot of meetings, a lot of that's, con- that's, that's conferences. A fair, that's a fair point. That's a fair point. That's true. My, yeah. my, all, my, my jab at you wasn't called for. No, you're good. All work that's stuff. All Adobe stuff. Yeah. Unfortunately, Listen, all coming stuff. from the guy that works at Twitch and didn't even know there was a React button. Okay, Mister. You know what? Okay, this is actually hilarious that you say this because I work at Twitch in a very specific department. <laughs> Yeah. And people you know message everything me, about like, everything. I, I should know everything about Twitch, obviously. Oh, come people on, message dude. Me, like, oh, what is what's going on with this thing? And I'm like, yeah. I don't fucking. How much is? Know. Hold on, hold on, wait, hold, wait, hold on. How much is Twitch worth? Oh, Twitch. A gajillion dollars. Interactive. Where's the stock? Oh, they're not a publicly traded company. Okay, Amazon. Oh, they're part of Amazon, technically. Yeah. Okay. What do you mean? Hold on, wait. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. You don't know everything that's going on at Amazon? What the hell, dude? Exactly. Like. <laughs> It's uh, almost a trillion dollars, by what the way. What a loser. If you're wondering how much Amazon is worth. Almost a trillion? Wow. $996 billion. Okay, so, so Dom, you mean to tell me that you don't know everything that's going on in that $996 billion company? What the fuck are you doing with your I life? Know. I Seriously, know. dude. I'm going to need know. you to stop playing Warhammer so much and you know Trust get it me. together, dog. Trust me. I'm with <laughs> you, dude. You, you have no idea. <laughs> that's funny. I like how Hooch is the. I, I just read the chat. He didn't even say like, "Oh, what are they competing at?" Just what is Chrono gonna lose? On? <laughs> <laughs> That's savage. That's savage. I still need to clip that last for the game of the year episode and do some Hooch. stuff online because that was honestly that was the best. That was a hundred percent worth it. What was it? it? Oh, you talking about when I when you like platinum it on stream? Yeah. Oh, that was the best. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I think that's going to do it for us today because uh, we're going to do we'll, – we'll continue live, so we'll keep the um, – I'm going to stop the stream and then restart it. But um, – oh, yeah, I forgot that Nick also works for Amazon. Um, uh, but uh, so we're going to go um, – I'm going to be done with this episode because we're going to go talk about The Last of Us, last two episodes. Wait, so – oh, because are we – wait. Are we? You said we were going to come back to live, or no? I'm going to hit stop live. on the recording in the stream, and then continue because I remember I we, right? I okay. I, I, I save the videos from Twitch, yes. and then I put them on yes. on YouTube. So it just makes it easier, so I don't have to edit anything because I don't have time to do it. But so uh, yeah, that that'll do it for us this week. Thanks for everyone for coming out. You can find us on uh, Instagram OG Podcast. Twitter's over Chiever Fee, even though we don't use it. And our website's OG Podcast.fm, where you can get this episode and every episode we're talking about what we're playing, what we're looking forward to, a little bit of gaming news, and how much Kron is going to lose at everything that he loses <sighs> against me with. So, uh, I'm a thanks. win. I'm a winner. I'm a I mean, you I are a winner. You are you're a just winner. not a winner in this in this respect. Uh, that's you're all. Our, you can't, you're our winner. You're you our can't winner. win them all. I'm the I'm the I'm the winner. Nor will you. You're our you're our <laughs> winner. Will you? All right, my well, sweet little winner. I'll see you all soon, uh, very soon. We're gonna go restart. Literally so just stay, ahead. stay tuned because I'm literally gonna hit stop and then. Re- Unless go you live don't want to listen to spoilers from the Last of Us last episode. Yeah, if you haven't, if well, you if you haven't seen, watched it. if you haven't seen episode what four and four five, and five. Yeah. yeah, wait, not four and five. Yeah, didn't we, we didn't do, do we yeah. didn't do four, we four five. You guys did. You guys talked about the one with Bill and Frank, and then yeah. we didn't talk about the following two episodes. Yeah, oh, yeah, we didn't because we all got busy because we all are adults and have shit to do. Speak for yourself. I'm a, I just fucking sit in my underwear all day. Well, now we know like, why you don't want to. This man doesn't even know what's going on at a nine hundred ninety six billion dollar company. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> all right, we'll see you all soon. Bye.